So as CrossFit's growing and growing, the competitive side of CrossFit with um, people who start off as regular gym goers that are trying to get more competitive or they want to lift more weights in Olympic weightlifting, um, that population grows and grows. We see more and more people working on explosive or bounding movements. So it might be just body weight movements. If you think about Olympic weightlifting, we are doing some bounding, right? Trying to change direction of a force, um, absorbing it, changing direction fast. But what people skip over sometimes is the most basic thing, just basic landing mechanics. So if you're trying to do bounding box jumps, if you're trying to get your cleans better, footwork wise, um, if you're just trying to be more explosive in general, if you're trying to be a better athlete, a lot of times you'll see people do things like depth jumps where they have a box, hop down, bounce right away. But what we don't want to see when we do these things is your knees caving in, okay? We want to learn basic landing mechanics. So step number one, your knees should always stay in line with your feet. This is major problems. You'll see in sports, this is ACL injuries. People blow out their ACL, it's tough to come back from. But we want to learn that basic landing mechanics. So if you're someone who's trying to work on it, you don't have knee pain, you're fine with patellar tendonitis, you don't have any of that stuff going on when you squat a lot, you can start with a really low box. You can use a weight plate even. And all we're going to work on is learning how to drop and absorb. Because the first part about bounding is being able to absorb in the right position so that way you can transition out of it. So I'm gonna step off, pause. Now you hear how loud I was? I don't want to be that loud. I want to try and land as soft as I can. I'm gonna step back up, come up on one foot, trying to land with my whole legs, my body absorbing it. Now part of this you might not think about, it's just staying a little tight through your core so your upper body isn't getting slung around. The way this trans over for CrossFit in Olympic weightlifting, when we do a clean, we explode up, we pull ourselves under, we need to absorb that weight. So again, we're just working on that ability to absorb with proper mechanics in our lower body and staying a little tight here. You take this basic landing mechanics, you work on it. It might be two weeks, just twice a week. You don't need to do a ton of reps. You take this, you try to go a little high, higher, a little higher. Now when you're doing this, you want to video yourself to make sure your knees are solid. But if you land, you're like, oh yeah, land mechanics. That is not good. That is a ton of force to your body. That's where we start seeing the Achilles getting tight, people popping stuff, knees are getting banged up. So work on the small stuff so you can do the fun stuff. A lot of people skip the small stuff because it's boring, but a lot of the time that boring stuff is what leads you to stay healthy long term so you can do the fun stuff without getting hurt. So try it out, throw in some of your programming, do it after you warm up. Hope it helps. Talk to you guys soon.